Hello, beautiful people. It's been a couple of years since I made my original dosing videos, so I wanted to do just sort of a quick, concise update. If you're new to my channel, I'm Amanda Dreamer. This mushroom saved my life. My story is here because of censorship. The bulk of the information is going to be at amanitadreamer.net. I don't need your email address or anything. You can just go there and watch them. It'll be in the dosing playlist. I have everything broken down by playlist. And if you want to get involved in our community, it's mushroomvoice.com. So let's get into it. So dosing on this mushroom, a lot of people try to speak about it in terms of dry, how many, and that's how you talk about psilocybin. You can't talk about this the same way. And the reason is hot dosing. So from one mushroom to the next, you can have a variability as much as 10 times, and it's not by size either. So this could have 10 times the amount of actives in it as one that size sitting right next to each other. And it's not about where they grow, it's more about when in the season they grow and potentially how big, how far open they are versus how far closed they are. So the best thing to do is to make the tea and that normalizes the solution. Please don't just try to take these one at a time. Also, they are heavy in ibotenic acid until you put heat to them, like uh, simmering them in a tea or making an oil extraction with them. And then there's other methods that you can fully convert that use fermentation and bacteria. So when you go to use these, please don't talk about them in dried grams and please don't try to eat them that way. You will overdose on ibotenic acid. Ibotenic acid is good. It has many uses. I talk about that on my channel. So please make the tea. I have a video on how to make the tea. This is just a quick dosing video to say, here's the updated information. So in my microdosing videos, I talk about making the tea and making sure that you start small and work your way up for microdosing. And I have a protocol also on amnesiadreamer.net. And then if you want to macrodose, which is very important, and I really hope you do, I have a video on how to find your macrodose. And I have videos on what to expect and the effects of this mushroom. And then all of the mental health issues that I believe it works well with, including addictions and helping people get off substances. And I say this from about four years of experience now and working with thousands of people and hearing from people traveling and working with this mushroom in the wild and with other people who work with this mushroom. So it's, it's as concise as I can get without the science because we have very little science on this. What science we do have, I talk about here on this channel and at amnesiadreamer.net. Some of the small amounts of science that we do have, we already do know ibotenic acid affects the cholinergic and the glutamate channels, and then the muscimol affects GABA channels, uh, transmitters and receptors. And then we know from the beginnings of some clinical trials by a corporation called Psych Wellness that they are, it is working on stress and the stress response, which, you know, glutamate and uh, GABA balancing the fight or flight system. And then we have preliminary information on the ACE2 receptors and inflammation, which here on my channel, we were already using uh, topically for pain and I've been using it orally for inflammation and pain. So that sort of lends credence to some of the stuff that we're getting from ancient use, indigenous use, lore, stories, recipes from around the world, and then our anecdotal information and use that I'm congregating from my own experiments and then from others. That's all the science that we have. Everything else that I say is anecdotal from working with people with this mushroom. And the ibotenic acid side is very important for many things, and I have a whole playlist on ibotenic acid. I don't mean to like keep sending you over there. It's just so much information. It's too much to put in one video. It would alienate everybody and everyone has different interest in it. Ibotenic acid people are using for high gamma flow states, for focus, for attention, for motivation, for getting things done. Uh, a lot of people are using it in our community. We have an ADD, ADHD Zoom group and they talk about this there. There's so much to learn about this mushroom. It's so highly valuable and medicinal. So there's just a lot to say. And the only reason I'm making this video is just to make sure I let anyone new to the channel know right off the bat, don't grab this and eat it raw. Just don't do that. You'll overdose on ibotenic acid. But it's a great medicine. Please use it. 
I tell the world, please use it. So, amityoudream.net, muchyvoice.com. I have lots of mental health videos here on YouTube that don't get censored, things that I can keep here. And I leave as much amity information here as I think I can get away with because of harsh censorship. Welcome to the channel. I love you beautiful people.